Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Reggie Bush, and man, we saw some big time performances this week in college football. What a way to get started. But I wanna give you guys my top five running back performances of the week. Let's get started. Number five, DeAndre Swift. I thought he ran well for the most part of this game. I know that he can make moves in the open field. One of the things that I wanted to see from DeAndre Swift I wanted to see him run through tackles. I wanted to see him run with good pad level. And I saw that. I saw him run well when there were eight man boxes and I saw him run well through contact. Exploding through contact is so important for running backs. A lot of times you are having to run through arm tackles from defense linemen, linebackers, and safeties. And I thought he did a great job at that. I would like to see Georgia use him more in the pass game because I think he can be very effective in the pass game for him and just be another option for them. But Georgia is a great football team and I want to see DeAndre Swift make strides and improvements this week and I think he can do that. Number four, Zach Moss. I thought he ran extremely hard and extremely physical and I think that's part of his DNA. That's part of who he is. He loves to explode through contact. But the one thing that I saw for him that stuck out in my mind, he was very, very patient. Almost similar to a Le'Veon Bell patient. And that's very important for running backs, especially when there's a lot of traffic. You gotta allow your offensive linemen to get onto those blocks, to allow those blocks to develop. And I thought Zach Moss did a great job at that. I already knew he was a strong runner. I already knew he was powerful. But he showed me a different side of his game that I think is gonna help Utah to get back to the Pac-12 championship. Number three, Chuba Hubbard. Ran extremely tough and had the most rushing yards out of all of my running backs in my top five. I love the combination of Tylen Wallace and Chuba Hubbard together. And I'm very excited to watch this offense going forward. They are extremely explosive. And Mike Gundy had his fingerprints all over this game. It's a typical Oklahoma State game a ton of explosive plays, a lot of touchdowns, very exciting to watch. And I thought Chuba Hubbard was the benefit of great talent around him, showed great speed and acceleration when he got into the open field. And I can't tell you enough how important that is for running backs, because a lot of times you got guys flying at you from all different directions. So you wanna make sure once you get past that initial surge, that you hit that acceleration button. And I thought Chuba Hubbard did a great job at that. I'm very excited to watch this Oklahoma State offense going forward. Number two, Travis Etienne. I thought he did a great job at picking up the slack when their offense struggled. Trevor Lawrence struggled in the game and I chalked that up to just week one jitters. And that's why Clemson is so dangerous because they can beat you in a lot of different ways. They got a lot of great talent at the receiver position, obviously at the quarterback position, and they can line up and play big boy football with Travis Etienne. And we saw that signature Etienne speed. When he gets in the open field and he starts running, his knees get high and nobody is catching him. But they got a big game this week going up against Texas A&M. And I wanna see how Etienne elevates his game against a tough opponent. Number one, Jonathan Taylor. The best running back in college football proved it once again. He was explosive. His offensive line did a great job blocking for him, as they always do. But the one thing I saw in this game that I have not seen in the past, they finally started to throw the football to him. And you saw how effective he was in the past game. And after getting a chance to interview him and talk to him, I know that was an area that he wanted to improve on. And we saw that. So I thought this game really showcased a complete Jonathan Taylor. And I want to see this more going forward. And it's kind of like that scene in Billy Madison when he gets that ball in his hand and he looks at everybody else and he says, now you're all in big trouble. 